Here's what you'll need to get started. Tin foil, a pair of scissors, liquid glue, I'll be using Elmer's school glue, but you can use other glue such as tacky glue, paper towels, a paintbrush, black paint, I'll be using acrylic paint, but tempera will work as well, and materials to create your embossing. I'll be using a piece of cardboard as my base, a leaf that I found in my backyard, and shapes that I cut out of scrap cardboard. You can also use matte board or other sturdy materials as your base. Let's get started. I've laid down some scrap cardboard so that I don't get my surface area dirty while I'm working. We'll start by taking your base and laying it down in front of you. Next, we will add glue to our object. I'll be using this leaf first, and you want to make sure that you put the green side face down so that the veiny part is face up. Be sure to use a generous amount of glue. You can also add glue to your surface. Next, I'll be adding some shapes I cut out of cardboard. For our next step, we will add our foil on top of our objects. You will notice that your foil has a shiny side and a dull side. You'll want to make sure the dull side is face down so that the shiny part is facing up. I've cut my tin foil a little bit larger than my surface so that I can wrap the edges around the back so it stays a little bit sturdier. So you'll want to coat the surface of your foil on the dull side with glue. Then, you'll put your tin foil over your object and the base, and press down. Flip it over, and you may need to add additional glue. and fold over the edges. When you're finished, flip back over. Next, using your finger, or a blunt tool like the end of a paintbrush or pencil, you will begin tracing the outlines of your objects. The texture of your objects will be revealed through the tinfoil. Be careful not to press too hard so that you don't rip through the tin foil.
You can also experiment with different mark making in the background using different tools. Experiment with different objects you can find at home, such as a fork, a comb, anything that can make a mark on the surface. Next, we will add black paint to the surface of our foil. Coat the entire surface with black paint. This will add depth to our piece as the black paint will stick to the crevices in the foil and we will wipe away the excess with a paper towel. You can repeat any of these steps to add black paint in areas that may need more depth or using your tool to reveal more texture from your object. Leave to dry and you're finished.